Minister Spasovsky, dear Oliver, it's a pleasure to welcome you to Brussels today for this important signature, which marks another important milestone in the deep relationship between the European Union and North Macedonia on security and migration. I was in Skopje only a few weeks ago for the signature of the Frontex status agreement, and in Tirana a month ago we, uh, where we agreed we were ready to revise our cooperation on counter-terrorism. And one month later, here we are. In October 2018, we signed a joint action plan on counter-terrorism with our Western Balkan partners, which remains the backbone of our cooperation in this area. Today, we are renewing our cooperation with North Macedonia and with that of Albania. The arrangement we will sign is a concrete deliverable of the joint action plan. We are today faced with emerging security threats and challenges that require a joint response between the EU and its partners, especially those that are on the accession path, have a European perspective. Let me praise North Macedonia for your work and your commitment to ensure our common security. You have implemented most of all the actions included in the original arrangement. And in light of this progress, the revised arrangement will allow us to cooperate more closely. One particular novelty in the revised arrangement I would like to draw to your attention, the protect protection of critical infrastructures by strengthening this capacity and enhancing preparedness in case of terrorist attacks. The Commission will support this thorough financial this through financial support with a program that will start beginning of next year. We acknowledge your commitment. The Commission is equally committed to support the development of your capacities to anticipate, prevent and respond to terrorist threats, including by preventing and countering violent extremism. North Macedonia belongs to the European family. Strengthening our common security is crucial. Thank you.